I'm not afraid of you. I'm not. How can I? You're nothing. You're a thing of the mind and deep down I, I think people know that. They just are more afraid of being wrong. But I'm not. Not one bit. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. So you think you've seen it all. I've been following your work for some time, and while I can appreciate your dedication to truly debunk some of these myths, I think you are incredibly naive and arrogant. Monsters do exist, my friend. Ghosts too. And even more frightening creatures. I know you won't believe me, so I challenge you to summon the filmer. Not sure if you have ever heard of him, but the legend started in the late 80s. You could do your research, and I'm sure you will find out more information, but what you won't find is what I am going to share with you here. But be warned. If you do this, there is no turning back. However, if you truly hold no belief in these kinds of things, then I guess you have nothing to be afraid of. You must use an actual VHS camcorder and film yourself repeating and doing the following. A digital camera or your cell phone will not work. Once you have secured your camera, you must record to a blank tape and repeat, I ask the filmer to reveal himself, as I do not believe for how can such things exist. We know not the filmer's true name, for he has none. He was never a man never reality he exists only within our minds and nothing more if i'm wrong then prove yourself and take my life for i offer it to you in search of the truth as soon as this is completed you have two options option a you immediately rewind the tape and record over it i apologize to the filmer for i do believe Repeat this until you are absolutely sure you have taped over your original recording. Then burn the tape. By doing this, you might feel weird for a few days, but after that it will go away. Option B, there's no turning back after this. After you are done with the original recording, you very simply just burn the tape. You might not feel or see anything at first. But I promise you, you will wish that you had not been so arrogant in your beliefs. Best of luck.
Jesus. I ask the filmer to reveal himself as I do not believe for how can such things exist. We know not the filmer's true name for he has none. He was never a man, never reality. He exists only within our minds and nothing more. If I'm wrong, then prove yourself and take my life. For I offer it in search of the truth. Hey man. Yeah, what's up, Mike? Not much. Just thought I'd stop by, see what you were up to. You're looking at it. Haven't heard from you in a while. Yeah, well, I guess you heard Taylor and I broke up. I did hear about that. She just got the last of her stuff out of our place, so, uh. Yeah, it's been something. It's been something. I bet. Anyways, uh, how are you? How's the website? It's pretty great, actually. Uh, I just posted a new article about Bloody Mary. I got this strange email, though. Uh, some guy talking about an urban legend named The Filmer. I don't know. I, I tried to do some research on it, but I couldn't find shit. The Filmer? Never heard of it. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Actually, I have. Um... In middle school, uh, I think it was called The Huntsman by the time I heard about it, but I tried to tell it at a few parties, but by then people were calling it The Filmer, so uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of weird. That's, that's funny, man, because I've literally never heard of it. Oh, jeez. Uh, well, I think the basic story goes, like, it was this guy that had a house out in the middle of the woods, and uh, he would just, like, kidnap people and bring them down into his, like, dungeon or cellar or something, and he would, like, 
mutilate and torture these people like and would record himself doing it and he wore this like weird mask that had antlers attached to it and I guess like one time this 13 year old girl escaped and the sheriff found her and they were able to figure out where she was uh, based on where they found her so they took her back and um, by then I guess the guy was gone but they found like 22 bodies um, buried all over the property and uh, in the cellar they found like VHS tapes of it and all this weird voodoo shit and uh, you know they didn't find the guy until a few years later these kids out in the middle of the woods I guess found his body and it was like in this weird uh, I guess kind of satanic circle or some shit and uh, that's kind of I guess where the stories started um, you know, some people say that he made a deal with the devil or that he killed himself or, you know, all this whatever. But, I mean, it's just a ghost story. That's kind of where it all came from. But, uh, but to be honest, I really can't remember what the whole thing is. That's just the main gist of it, I think. Did he, did he have a name? No, not really. Uh, we just called him the Huntsman, I think. Uh, or Filmer, I'm sorry. That's kind of a stupid name, actually. Filmer. Do you know about the ritual? Uh... Uh, no, the filmer was just like a ghost story. Why, did the email tell you how to summon him or something? Yeah. And? And what? Has anything happened? You expect something to happen? Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's a shame about you and Taylor, though.
Hey, babe. What's up? Oh, hey. Uh, not much. What are you doing? Uh, yeah, I'm not really doing anything. Just been working on this article. Uh, that's good. Well, hey, uh, I ended it with Mike. Yeah, he told me. Wait, really? No, yeah, he was just here. Does he know? I mean, did he say anything yeah, he, like he we were... He has no idea. Oh, okay. So, uh, you want to come over? I don't know. At least not right now. I mean, what Babe. if he shows up again? He's not going to come by. Well, how do you know? We can't keep doing this shit. Either come over Why are you getting mad? I'm not getting mad. Okay, well, you sure sound it. I'm not getting mad. You're just starting to sound like a bitch. I, I just don't get it. Um, excuse me? How am I sounding like a bitch? How am I sounding like a bitch? Just because I don't want to fuck you right uh, now? I'm not, I'm busy. I'm not dealing with this right now. Okay, now you don't want to deal go. with this? You can be mad all you want. I said I'm not fucking mad. Stop being a bitch. Okay, you know what? What the fuck ever. I'll talk to you later, alright? Alright? Okay, sure, yeah, whatever, bye. Oh, you fucking bitch. Uh...
Thank you. 